Here is a clip of Minister Lindy Waisulu on the Johannesburg CBD fire, which occurred on Thursday, the 31st of August 2023. Please watch and listen to her carefully. Does not even look at the plan to say, okay, I'm not in the same thinking as you, but what was good of this plan and what is it that I can do to implement the plan? Because unfortunately for us, whether we like it or not, this is the result of apartheid that kept people under such uh, conditions and we are expected to have changed those conditions within the 30 years. We the statement made by Minister Lindy Waisulu suggesting that the Johannesburg CBD file was caused by apartheid, is both incorrect and an attempt to shift blame. This assertion is unacceptable, and lacks factual basis. Firstly, the cause of the fire has not been definitively established yet. Investigations are ongoing, and it is premature to attribute the fire to any specific cause, including apartheid. Secondly, Apartheid was a discriminatory and oppressive system that existed in South Africa from 1948 to 1994. It was a political and social framework that enforced racial segregation, discrimination, and inequality. Blaming apartheid for a specific incident like a fire is misguided, and does not address the root causes, or responsible parties. The tragedy in Johannesburg CBD is a complex issue that involves various factors, including building safety standards, the responsibilities of property owners, the conditions in which people were living, and the actions of those who may have violated regulations. These factors must be thoroughly investigated to determine the actual causes and responsibilities. Minister Zulu's attempt to shift the focus onto apartheid is not productive and does not serve the interests of addressing the immediate needs of the affected people, or preventing future incidents. It is essential to prioritize the well-being of the victims, provide assistance, and ensure that such incidents do not recur in the future. By the way, here is a clip of a gentleman on the real issues on the ground. Listen to him. I'm very angry, very angry about what's going on in the Johannesburg fire situation. Now, for those that don't know, because the media is deliberately misleading people, politicians are always saying things that try and confuse and mislead people. Let me break it down to you. So, you have, Now, there's over a hundred buildings that they claim is hijacked. Let me explain what that actually means in English. What that means is that they sit down, they register NGOs in their children's names, in their relatives' names, and they claim those buildings from the city of Joburg for themselves. So an NGO for gender-based violence, an NGO for Nyaupe children, an NGO, just they register random NGOs and these NGOs get free buildings from government. What they then do is that they then hijack the buildings themselves and begin to collect rentals. So from these buildings, the same building we were at yesterday, the building that burned down, they were rentals being collected. People who lived in the area informed us that they were people who came in and collected rentals. Now, this is a building that's been given to NGOs. Why are rentals being collected? This is an actual building that somebody through an NGO owned and then there afterwards pretended as though it's hijacked and they were collecting rentals. Now, when we did the calculations ourselves, the rentals were about 300,000 rand being collected every month in cash because these guys would send in people with guns to collect rent from people that lived in there. And there's over a hundred buildings in Johannesburg where this happens. Now the media is going to act like nothing's wrong. The people are saying, you know what, it's foreigners, etc., etc. We know that there's a syndicate working. We know that political parties in the city of Johannesburg are allocating buildings to themselves through NGOs, making profit in one of the buildings. Five million rand is collected in cash every single month. And the reason they all blame is to say, no, these NGOs take the people to court and they actually force people, uh, the, the city can't do anything, our hands are tied. Of course they do that. They're collecting funds every single month. I don't understand why the media is not asking the people that are actually involved to find out what's going on. So there's a whole lot of corruption and we need to open up our minds and actually see it for what it is. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe.